you are here and you are the vessel, you are the outlet for the universe, that you've been selected, there's something for you to do. I believe all of us have some purpose for being here. Life. How beautiful it is. How amazing it is to be able to rise up in the morning and have that sun shine on your face rather than on your grave. It almost died about 10 years ago. And I was fortunate enough to come out on the other side of that. And so when I came out on the other side of that, not that I didn't approach my life in a certain way before, but it just made me appreciate life that much more. And so every day I'm chasing something different. Every day the way I operate is totally different. And it's not about the product for me as much as it is about the process. And what I mean about the process, the process saved my life. You are here and you are the vessel, you are the outlet for the universe, that you've been selected, there's something for you to do. I believe all of us have some purpose for being here. And as I was going to the funeral, and I was reading a newspaper that said that, that millions of people are dying because of, of what they're eating, talking about their diet. And I'm sure that it, it was Marion talking to me, whispering, saying, Les, the next time you speak, so that even more are dying because of what's eating them. When the challenges of life come your way, you've got to find ways to increase your sense of self-appreciation because if you don't, you're bombarded with negative stuff every day that beats you down and you will find yourself unconsciously engaged in self-destructive behavior. Life. How beautiful it is. How amazing it is to be able to rise up in the morning and have that sun shine on your face rather than on your grave. What makes life so unique and so beautiful? It is beautiful because whatever you have that you may be facing, what you may be dealing with, life is still good. Life has so many moving parts, but life is always good. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. So you want to have an agenda for your life. It's necessary that you have some direction for your life. A friend um, at the National Speakers Convention gave us a presentation and it really struck me. He was talking about when he was traveling across Europe, Warren Gresson, and he said at different points, soldiers would wake them up on their journey and ask him the question. And I pose this to you. The question was, where have you been? Why are you here? And where are you going? That's what I ask you. Where have you been? Where have you been up to this point? You look at your life. You look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you procrastinating? Are you evading your own greatness? Every day is a new day and another opportunity that others may not have. This life that you have been given, this life that you are temporarily holding on to, this life that has been just given to you for only temporary reasons, has more meaning than you can ever imagine. So many people in the world take life for granted instead of realizing that you have to take the opportunity to live it the best way you know how. Now on this journey of life, you're gonna face a significant amount of circumstances, a significant amount of challenges. 
You're gonna fall into areas that you cannot understand. And maybe it's not in the position for you to understand at that moment. Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? Where have you been? Why are you here? What brought you here? Investing the time, the money. What brought you here? And where are you going? What is it that you can get out of this session, out of this lecture? That when you leave here, rather than this just being a spectator event, that you got some idea, some dream, that you might have to go back and brush it off and look at it again. And say, I've got to do this. This is my stuff. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is why I showed up. Where are you going with your life? What decisions are you making right now as you look into the future? Are you experimenting to find out what other talents and abilities that you have? See, we're in a time right now. The day is gone where you could just go to college and get out and, and get a job and work 30 or 40 years with job security and retire with a gold watch. The gold watch days are gone. Brand new day, party's over. I almost died about 10 years ago. And I was fortunate enough to come out on the other side of that. And so when I came out on the other side of that, not that I didn't approach my life in a certain way before, but it just made me appreciate life that much more. And so every day I'm chasing something different. Every day the way I operate is totally different. And it's not about the product for me as much as it is about the process. And what I mean about the process, the process saved my life. Meaning the way I go about my life and the way I approach certain things, it saved my life. It wasn't because I was this talented kid. It wasn't because I was this privileged kid. It was because of the way that I approached the process and the things that I understood about what the process can produce in my life. And I'm gonna give you an example. It's not so much about when I played the game of football, it wasn't about the stats for me. It was more about me taking pride and coming out down after down, quarter after quarter, and dominating my opponent and basically imposing my will on him to the point where he looked at his coach and said, man, I don't want to go out and face him again. So we're going to be very intentional and deliberate, right? There's some stuff we're going to do every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, every Friday, every Saturday, every Sunday. We're going to be very intentional and deliberate, and we're not going to let success happen to us. We're going to go take it. We're going to go create it. We're going to make up something that never existed before. I don't know, and maybe you guys know more than I do, but I don't know any motivational speaker in the world with a baseball hat and a pair of Yeezys. I, I don't know with the blue jeans on. I don't, I, don't, I don't know the guy with the shorts and the t-shirt. Last time I checked, they all had on a nice white shirt with a nice blazer, right? And they all had a certain look. We made something that didn't exist before. Because I know not only is he going to beat me, he's going to have fun with it, and he's going to bring it every single play, every single quarter. That's a different type of pride. But to give you the backstory of how I became the individual that I am, I carry two things with me everywhere that I go. And I'm talking about everywhere that I go. I carry a football with me, and I carry a buck. And the football, the backstory to the, the football is this. I got a good friend, a guy by the name of Eric Berry. He's in the NFL now. He went first round, fifth pick to the Kansas City Chiefs, one of the highest paid safeties in the NFL. Really talented kid. And so last year I went up to watch him play and I get up to about two games a year and I went up to watch him play and they played against the Seattle Seahawks. He went out, he played lights out. After the game, he came over to me and he had a football. And so he tossed me the football and I caught the football and as I was tossing it back to him, I said, man, what's that? He said, Ink, that's the game ball. I said, man, you keep that. He said, no, Ink, I'll get plenty more of those. He said, I want you to give that to your son. So I said, I appreciate it. And so I looked at the ball and only it had to score 2024 Kansas City Chiefs. Had to be legendary on it. And it had the Bible verse Jeremiah 29, 11. We created it. We call it the hip hop preacher. We made it out. And we made it popular. As a matter of fact, if you go online now, there are many sources that would say we're where in the world, CJ. Number one in the world. We made it up. So if it doesn't exist, don't worry. Make it up. No, I'm being honest. You think I'm winning. I'm, just make it up. I'm a college graduate with a PhD. Never happened in my family before. I made it up. Nobody in my family has ever written books. We just made it up. CJ is a graduate, Candace is a graduate, Carl is a graduate, Tamisha is a graduate. We just made it up. And we are in New Zealand. Let me tell you something, most people that I grew up with will never see this. They'll never see this place. We've been all over the world. 
So look, you can make it up. You have within you the ability not to be a copycat. You have an ability to go to an industry and change that industry forever. It's in you, and that's why you're in this room, and that's why I'm challenging you when you walk out of this room.